hi beauties welcome back to my channel so today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can change your regular expression hair to a kinky curls hair or your canal hair to a kinky curl hair so this is what you will need so I'm using the extension that I got from Nigeria and uh, you can I'm using this kinky uh, extension that I also got from Nigeria and I'm wrapping that around a chair and I'm going to tie that down so you want to make sure that this is really tight so that it's not going to be like moving so much when you are um, doing the hair one is really tight one wasn't that tight so I'm not going to be using the one that is not so tight so I'm going to go ahead and take my extension I like this extension because it has the red at the bottom and I'm going to go ahead and start sectioning the hair into small pieces. Guys, with this part, it depends on how thick you want your kinky curls to look. I didn't want to mind that thick because I was creating a wig and the coils that I wanted for the wig was really big. So I started um, separating them and it was I was lo losing the coils. So I, st I wanted to use this to finish the wig i wanted some colors in the wig so i decided to just do this tutorial and also record it for you guys when i finish doing it i'm going to use it to finish do, doing my wig if i'm explaining that right so i'm just going ahead i'm looping that on that um hair that i wrap around the chair and i'm just looping it all through as you can see this is a very easy process guys at first, I was scared that this is going to take so long, but I was in shock how fast and quick this was. It doesn't even take, it didn't even take me like hours to finish. It was like about 45 minutes and I was done with the whole pack of expression, like doing this. Because my expression was already feathered, so I didn't have to do that part. And this was just like, this was so easy. This was so quick guys if you want to save money and i feel like these diys that ugh, it was a eye opener for me because i feel like i could have easily spent like another maybe 20 25 dollars or 30 dollars to go back to the store to get the exact coins for just maybe a pack i mean for two or three packs and with this one i only used one pack of expression which was like $5.99, call it myself, it took me about 45 minutes to call the whole hair. So it didn't take long. So you're going to take a straw and a rubber band. The rubber band I'm using is the rubber band that I usually use for my daughter's hair. And I just went ahead and twist that around the um, straw and I cover it. Guys, for me, I didn't want it I wanted the coils to be really, really tight together. I didn't really want them like loose coils. I really wanted extreme tight coils because the wig I'm going, you guys are going to be seeing the wig I was creating. The coils was really tight together and I wanted to mimic that exact same coils. So as you can see, this was easy, breezy, lemon, whatever. It was very, very, very easy. It was very simple and it was extremely quick i was in shock the reason i didn't try this out the first time i'm like it's going to take so much time by the time i finish this it's better for me to go to the store and just get me a pack or two girls guys mm -mm. no this was actually really fast you can try it out yourself and you will see how quick and how easy this is you can do that this while watching TV so you can just sit down in front of the TV and do this by the time you even done watching that whole movie you are done like it will be really like it will be done so I did that as you can see it was really easy I love the colors of this hair and the rubber band I just the rubber band was also a very easy way the rubber band I was first scared that the rubber band is going to be coming out because I did watch the Adelia's Empire video and she did mention that her rubber band was coming out and that part I was very scared of. I was like, okay, let me still give it a try and see if that will 
work like i didn't want it to because i didn't i i don't want to use so much i don't have wool first of all and second of all i didn't have enough um hair clips to secure that down so the only pro thing that i had was this rubber band so i just i just still went ahead to use the rubber band to create it and you guys will see if it works out for me if not you guys are going to see when i dip this in water so i just went ahead and did all the hair like that and these guys as i mentioned before this was extremely fast i was in shock do you know i sometimes i feel like it's good to try something out instead of like like oh it's going to be too hard because you never know the first time i watched um love it video i was like oh it's a very good idea it's very creative but it's going to take long but guys this didn't take long at all this was very quick as you can see i was like i was really fast in creating that much of hair like it was really fast so now that i was done i was done quick so now i was done i'm going to take that i'm taking that i'm taking a bowl a towel and i'm spreading the towel out and i'm putting that hair in the bowl and i'm taking hot water guys i always said be careful when you're working with hot water you don't want kids to be around you don't want it to get on yourself you want to make sure that everything is far away from um, a kid or you so I just went ahead and did that into water I want to make sure that everything is emerged inside the hot water and I went ahead to use the comb to even push some of the hair down more so that they can all like make sure that everything is inside the water as you can see nothing came up like not even a strand of hairband or rubber band came up it was so really really good I was I didn't have any issue with the rubber band because I secured the rubber band on where the two straws were I'm meeting so that was the only one I believe yeah that was the only strand that was loose a little bit it was because I moved that was the one I was constantly pulling and using to like bring the the hair up and that was it and I just went back and wrap it all up and there was it went just everything back so as you can see the rubber band method did work for me you just have to make sure you uh, you rubber band both sides like we both the, both of the straws are meeting and you want to like rubber band that down as you can see it was very easy so after a few I think I let this dry for like a uh, four or five hours and yeah and I just start pulling the straw out so I just took the hairband out pull the straw and it was that easy it didn't even I wasn't like it wasn't hard like to take it out like you just take the hairband out and you pull out the straw and voila you have your beautiful beautiful kinky curl hair that you can use to create a crochet um hairstyle and she loved it when i watch her video she did use this to create a clip in but because i'm doing a crochet wig I'm, you guys are going to be seeing the wig soon i'm not going to be um doing the clip in uh with this with this hair so as you can see it was really easy to take out the end result was amazing it was very fast you know what that 30 40 dollars or 25 dollars that i could have spent it's not all my can spend it on something else you know what why not you know save money save 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 so this was all about this tutorial this here i will have to say guys you can just try this out yourself and see how quick and how easy and how simple this was it was really simple and this was my end result and this is the ones that was i could still use the same um ones like the same straw and hairband to create another set of curly kinky hair so as you can see it was very you can reuse it so i went ahead and sprayed the hair with a holding spray 
just to keep that curls really tight and nice and I also went ahead to spray that with uh, organ oil like coconut oil on um, to make to give it some little shine and yeah that was all about it you guys this tutorial was really quick I will encourage you guys to try this out and see how amazing you can create any color of your choice guys there are sometimes you go to the stores and they don't have it there you can create your colors as you can see this is the one that I'm using to create the wig that I wanted to create and because I didn't have any other color I wanted to mix it together so I just like okay let me just do this one and see how it goes as you can see it looks just the same guys just the same nothing different it's just that the coils was a little bit thick like the hair was thicker and mine was really tiny and the reason I want it tiny is because I'm going to be using this for the front and I did not want the, the front to be that thick so as you can see this was the end result is looking beautiful you can reuse all the product that you use and thank you so much for watching bye